Welcome to KetoMealsAndRecipes.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make my spaghetti squash pizza cups. These pizza cups are a wonderful party snack or how we use it, we make it for lunch, either for work or for school for my kids. If you have smaller kids, I think you'll love this because these spaghetti squash cups are especially tasty and fun for your children to have for lunch. The other thing I want to mention is that these spaghetti squash pizza cups are very nutritionally dense and very filling. And lastly, the best thing of all is you make a whole dozen so you'll have them for several days, either for a take-along lunch or on-the-go breakfast. And the nice part is these cups are really fun to make, especially if you have leftover spaghetti squash that you baked for a previous meal. And if you're like me and have an extra jar or two of bolognese sauce in your fridge or freezer, this will work perfectly. Alternatively, you could also use either your homemade marinara sauce or store-bought marinara sauce. Both of these sauces are excellent for budget-friendly meals and prep-ahead meals. In fact, I use my bolognese sauce in many ways, including with my zucchini noodles or with spaghetti squash as my noodles. Although I like the marinara sauce, I prefer to use the bolognese sauce because it's more substantial and filling. The link for these two instructional videos are provided in the description box below. Before getting to the actual recipe, I just want to mention that this is my new format. It's a hybrid. The introduction is verbal and the rest will be with the ingredients posted and hopefully happy music. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you think of this format and if you have any suggestions to improve it. Now, these tasty spaghetti squash pizza cups have a macronutrient ratio of 2.5 to 1 with 8.7 grams of total carbs, 1.1 gram of dietary fiber resulting in 7.6 grams of net carbs per 2 of these pizza cups. And the reason I provided for two cups is because if you're having them for lunch, one is just not enough. And they're also really good. <laughs> After baking your spaghetti squash for about 30 to 40 minutes at a 400 Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius oven, and with your fork carefully scooped out the strands, just let your spaghetti squash strands cool. Now here's the recipe.